question? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it is simple that the author of this question is uh, shown. So, but I'm Kohei Otsuka from Code of War History. Uh, today, I would like to introduce an open source product called MapRat, which can be used for walking around the town by utilizing location information for of historical maps and cultural assets. Uh, the presenter is not very good at English and will uh, will be uh, challenged in presenting in English. So it, it would be helpful if questions could be asked in simple expressions. Then next. This will be the agenda for today's presentation. First, I will introduce what code for history is. Then I will introduce MapRat and show some examples of how MapRat can contribute to cultural assets conversion, uh, conservation. Uh, what is code for history? This is a community that uses uh, information technology to solve histo historiographical problems. And so far, I'm still part, uh, practic practically alone in this activity. As for the characteristics of our activities, I would like to emphasize that, code, that for code for history, information technology is a means, not a goal. The goal is to solve problems in historiography, and we will use non-IT mean if necessary. The most priority is always to solve the problem. We also work with several uh, academic organizations, companies, and indi individual researchers to solve problems in historiography. And we run a Facebook community of about uh, 300 people who are interested in our work. Unfortunately, we only have a Japanese version of the Facebook community, but we will create an English version of the community upon request. However, the most of the actual works of our activities is still being carried out by me alone, as said before. Next, introduce introduction to MapRat. This is a map viewer technology that allows users to enjoy walking around the city using historical maps and pictorial maps. And it is being developed as an open source. The features, features of MapRats are as follows. First of all, it is possible to uh, handle historical maps without distortion. Next, it can also match not only the location of the center point between accurate and inaccurate maps, but also the direction and scale. The conversion between maps is a bidirectional one-to-one -one conversion, which say homeomorphic, which means which means that no matter how many times you switch maps, you will always back, be back to the, the, uh, the, the original location. It can also convert line features to lines. For example, roads converted to roads and rivers converted to rivers. And since it is open source, anyone can create their own site by utilizing it. The project website are at the last lines here. First, let me explain the topic of distorting the map. With the existing mapping technology, which say GIS, the only way to handle historical maps is distorting them to much accurate coordinates, as you can see in light. If you do this, the beauty of the map will be lost and the information shown on it will be distorted and unreadable. However, MapRat can link historical maps with accurate maps without distorting them, thus preserving the beauty of historical maps. This will allow citizens to become familiar with the true value of cultural properties. Next topic is adjusting the direction and scale. In fact, there is an existing map viewer technology called Story that does not distort historical maps as well. However, that technology do not match the direction and scale exactly when switching between historical map, historical and accurate maps. The example shown in a uh, map, map of Kamakura, Japan, but if we look closely, you can, see, you can see that the railroad lines and coast lines are not in the same position and the direction and scales are not converted accurately. 
However, MapLat allows you to uh, overlay multiple maps exactly, including not only the uh, center point, but also the direction and scale. These are historical and accurate maps of Tatebayashi city. And you can see that the general direction and the scales are almost consistent between each map, although, of course, there are limitations. Also, story does not return, to, return the map position to the original location when switching between multiple maps multiple times. These are historical maps of the area around the Louvre in Paris. But if you switch from the first map to the next and then back to the first map again, uh, you will see that the position is slightly off like this. MapLot has the ability to return to the original location no matter how many times it is transformed. This is a function uh, mathematically known as homeomorphic transformation. We have a Japanese patent on this technique. Next topic is lines to lines conversion. The previous version of MapLot used a set of ground control points, which say GCP, GCPs, and the triangular network generated from the GCPs to align the historical map with the accurate map. Thus, it was not able to convert lines to lines accurately. For example, as shown in the right figure, even if you walked on a straight road in an accurate real city, the coordinates converted by MapLat would not be placed on the road of the historical map as shown in the left figure. So the current GPS location would not be displayed on the load. Therefore, the new feature allows you to uh, define a line-to-line -line correspondence so that coordinates on the line will be translated exactly onto the line on the other map. We decided to the name of this definition of line-to-line -line correspondence, uh, the HTD, HTGCL, uh, which say historical topographic ground control line. This is a new, uh, uh, new past, this is new past perspective. Now I'm going to show you a demo movie using Tatebayashi, Tatebayashi's map site so that you can understand the, how map works. Let's start. The site is web-based, but can run as a PWA app for iOS and Android. When launched, it displays a historical map like this. You can also change the transparency of the overlay of the historical map and the accurate map in the lower bar. If you move the map while maintaining a certain level of transparency, you can see the, that the historical map and the accurate map move independently file overlapping, and that's the corres uh, corresponding current location, scale, and the direction are fine-tuned with each operation. You can also uh, switch to maps of other areas, uh, which maintaining the current location, scale, and the direction. And when you click on a pin, the information associated with that pin will pop up. In the case of Tatebai City site, information on stone structures will be displayed. Yeah, that's it for the demo. The problem with using MapRat is that it's not well documented. It is important to increase the number of uh, contributors and collaborators to improve the documentation, but it's, it is almost like a chicken and egg program, problem. So if you are interested and want to use MapRat, please contact me first. And if you are able to use MapRat through communication, would you, would you please uh, contribute to the documentation? Finally, I will uh, discuss ideas and examples of how MapRat can contribute to the uh, preservation and utilization of cultural assets. First of all, I would like to state my thoughts on the preservation of cultural assets. 
The most important things in the preservation of cultural assets is to prevent the loss of the original assets themselves. But at the same time, I believe that it is important to take alternative measures so that even if the original assets are lost in a disaster, at least some of them, their value will be uh, preserved to, for future generations. In order to achieve this, I think it is important to convert cultural assets into digital data and make them open data. Open data allows data to be stored in a distributed manner rather than a single location, thus sparing it from being lost due to, the, due to a disaster in a single location. For example, this is a GitHub example of a project to preserve open products underground, underground in the Arctic Ocean for uh, 1,000 years. This is mainly a measure for open source, but since GitHub can also distribute open data, it is a project that can preserve open data for uh, 1,000 years. With this digitalization and open data, cultural assets will not be completely lost in a disaster. In addition, the use of data by people through the conversion, uh, conversion to open data can also make people feel more familiar with cultural assets. It is also expected to create new business opportunities. In such a movement, MapRat can help, the, uh, help if the cultural assets are related to historical maps or location data. The following is following is a case study of how we const, uh, constructed and used MapRat in cooperation with Network for Preserving Historical Material in Guma Prefecture, which say Guma Shionet in short. We collaborated in two locations, Tatebayashi City and Tamamura Town, and targeted historical maps and location information of stone structures as cultural assets. Since Tatebayashi city is a famous castle town, there were many historical maps available, so we focused our research on stone structures. A comprehensive survey of the existence of stone structure in Tatebayashi city was conducted 50 years ago, but most of them lacked photographs and exact location information, so many of them remained unknown in, the, in their current state. Therefore, Unknown in, uh, sorry, therefore, we attempted to resurvey all the stone structures with photographs and exact location information. At this stage, we have completed about 80% of the resurvey in the city center and about 10% in the, the rural areas. The result of these resurveys combined with historical maps are now available to the public using MapRat. Here is a site on MapRat that shows the historical maps and the location of stone structures in Tatebayashi city. This site is the same as the one shown in the demo earlier. You can check it out the URL below right. Tamamura is a small town that is not so well known, but it is still has a lot of history to be proud of. As a measure to make people feel familiar with historical maps that can tell us about such history, we made the available to citizens through MapRat. At the same, at same in Tatebayashi, we would like to continue on our survey of stone structures in Tamamura as well. In addition to the, the creation of a public website of these cultural assets, there is also the possibility of implementing measures to familiarize citizens with them uh, through street walking events, both in Tatebayashi and Tamamura. Here is a site on MapRat that shows the historical maps in Tamamura town. You can check it out uh, at the URL below right. Other examples from Gumba Prefecture will also be introduced. In Aizuwakamat city, Code for History created a website using MapRat, which was founded, which was founded by the Aizu city staff, and they used it to organize a city walking event. We heard that the event was very well received by the participants, uh, who noticed a lot of things about the city history.
Next is Higashinari Ward, Osaka City. Higashinari Ward, Ward has created an official historical map site using MapRat. Osaka City University, which was involved in the uh, development of this site, held an event to walking, walk, walk around the city. I also participated in this event, and it was very well received with many discoveries about the city. Media coverage was also co conducted. Conclusions. First, MapRat is an open source map viewer technology that allows you to walk around town using historical maps. Second, as one of the measures to protect cultural assets from disasters, it is important to de decentralize the existence of data through digitization and make them open data. Third, MapRat can help these activities for map-related data. Thank you very much. That's all from my side. Oh, thank you very much for your presentation. Anna, yeah. uh, is there, uh, there from participant any questions or comments? Uh, you can also uh, write in the Slack chat, uh, uh, Slack channel, or uh, English and Japanese is also both English and Japanese. Uh, okay. And I have one question. Uh, yes. The, uh, maybe uh, you have dealt with maps for many eras uh, from uh, maybe a Kamakura era or something like that, or from to uh, Meiji eras. No. But uh, the, uh, if you have noticed any difference in the characteristics or maps from different eras, please let me uh, let us know. あ、時代によってその地図の特性とかそういう違いとかああいうところいろんな地図を触れる中で時代によってそういう違いとかもしあれば教えていただけますでしょうかああ日本語で<笑><笑> あの、<笑> あの、マッピングしてて、で、同時期にあの、ヨーロッパの地図とあの、日本のアジアの地図とかだと、やっぱりヨーロッパの方が割と早くから正式なあの、えっと、測量に乗っとったものになってそうだとか、なんかそういうそういう気づきはありますね。いろいろと。はい。
uh, of uh, the uh, or China, China's one, something like that. Oh, thank you very much. Okay. So, yeah. Thank you so much for your uh, answer. Uh, there, is there uh, any questions or comments? Uh, Akiyama san makes a question on uh, the sack. Uh, maybe the uh, just uh, overlapping of uh, ancient maps and uh, modern maps uh, my, uh, needs manually ad adjust, uh, adjustment or uh, it, it is from automatic. Um. Currently, it it must be uh, map, mapped by manually, but mm -hmm. uh, I have uh, ambition about the it it's mm -hmm. make made by autom automated uh, using mm -hmm. AI. But <laughs> uh, my knowledge of AI is so limited, so it is far far futures uh, <laughs> object. Yeah. Okay, and. Scatters makes a question. Uh, what is the attraction of the activity you do you? Attraction means. Kono mi ya wa koyu katsudo e no mi ma ano motivation datari to ka ma koyu kote kakari kote miliyoku o shete itadimasu ka. At first, I, I. I start to, to handle such uh, historical map, uh, historical map uh, activity, uh, maybe 10, 10 years, 10 years ago. Um, I started with, I started from a business, business, uh, business point of view, uh, because uh, the Bratamori, uh, Bratamori uh, t TV show is started in maybe 10 years ago, 10 years ago. So, Historical map will be uh, will be become a money. <laughs> that is my start point. <laughs> but once once I started to uh, ha uh, handling such uh, old historical maps, uh, it's become interesting <laughs> for me. So uh, it's become my uh, life work. And uh, currently, uh, not making money, but <laughs> just th these activities spend my money. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, your activity is, uh, <laughs> is very ex ex uh, uh, exciting, I think. Well, thank you for your presentation. Yeah. Uh, yeah um, but uh, 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 any questions from participants? Uh, Ikea-san makes a question. Uh, it, is it possible to use map of and different time periods of the same place. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. you can you can change the uh, you can if you make some editing for each map and gather them in se uh, same page. Uh, mm -hmm. You can switch the uh, every errors uh, map. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, do you have any questions or comments? Okay, we, uh, okay, the, the time, um, the, the, uh, the end of time uh, came. Okay. So, uh, thank you very much for your excellent presentation for uh, uh, Kohei-san. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And now uh, we will conclude this uh, global session. Uh, we, this, uh, this is the first uh, trial for uh, organized global session for Code for Live Japan. Uh, and uh, we, we, we want to continue such kind of activities uh, because uh, in, the, in the COVID-19 uh, situations, uh, maybe it is easier to uh, collaborate uh, we uh, with uh, 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 code for the people from uh, in overseas. So 
maybe the, it is uh, easier to uh, collaborate, uh, to talk, talk with uh, such kind of uh, topics uh, with uh, globally. So we, uh, uh, we want to uh, organize uh, this, this kind of session next year. Uh, thank you for attending this uh, global session. Uh, now uh, I, uh, we will close uh, this session. <laughs>